was all my life a railwayman, I was all my life a boor. And there's none unkinder than a man's own kind, I'll tell you that's for sure. While I fought in the old beetle, I was caught, and I sweated my guts in the camp. For the bombs I threw and the bridges I blew, and here's what I get for thanks. For the turning wheel. I've always been interested in the area of um, of identity politics, and and the fact that uh, art, art and music um, uh, plays a very can play a very important role there. The apartheid regime had this idea that you know that people had separate cultures. And they pushed that idea pretty hard, you know. They encouraged it by having, you know, separate radio stations and, and separate TV channels and, uh, you know, separate schools and separate, uh, you know, stressing separate languages and all, all those kind of things. And yet, um, people, there was still a commonality amongst people. And this was why, for me, in terms of the struggle, this is, this is where I operated. I operated within, within the cultural struggle and in trying to work in what I thought of as the grey areas. I think, you know, the challenge is always to do with identity. And even to this day, music tends to be made almost where people live. And, and people still live very separately. You know, so, um, but, so the challenge is, is to find ways of, um, of, of reaching out and, and working uh, across these barriers. Uh, that is the challenge. The challenge is to is to create new identity, uh, a new kind of Creole culture, which which could become a South African culture sometime uh, in the distant future. And if what I hear about heaven is true, well, it's a racially mixed affair. In which case, ons gaan kak said Kuba's la Marie.